Thanks for staying with us. All right, time to put on your dancing shoes if you didn't already do it last night. Wow, what amazing show. Can you believe it? You know what we're talking about, right? Dancing with the Stars. What season are we on? 28. It's amazing. 28, 28 seasons. seasons. Kicked off do? last night. Yeah, amazing. Well, before we get into that, yes. let's introduce, in case you do not know this man, Hunter Lyle, he owns Arthur Murray Dance Studio here in town. Oh, thank you so much. You know a thing or two about these uh, dancing competitions. It has been a pleasure to be in Lexington almost 20 years and been a part of this show since, since it began, season one. And see it grow, see it expand, see all the people come and go, and great people on the show. What a great first night. I mean, one of the best ones yet. Well, before we talk about yeah. that, do you, and actually you kind of answered my question, do you think as these uh, seasons just continue to go on and on and on, yeah. they lose any of their shine? No, not at all. Because the people involved, it's to them, it's a brand new day. So it's like a student coming in the studio. It's their first time. So it's exciting. So it's every time you watch it, it's a new experience because for them, it's brand new. That's true. And it's an interesting cast this year. Mm -hmm. We had a twist oh, yeah. right off the bat with the beautiful yes. Christy Brinkley. Oh my gosh, we felt so, so sorry for her. You know, again, her, her shattered arm. the wrist. I mean, Val, though, is a true professional. He's been to Lexington. He's a great guy and he handled it well. Of course, her daughter stepped in with three days to perform and did just amazingly out there. How long does it usually take somebody to learn one of these routines? Hours. So they spend up to eight hours a day for several weeks ahead just getting ready. And then they have the hard part is week by week because it's more challenging week by week because you got to learn new things. Ah. So for her to step in after three days, phenomenal, just phenomenal. I love the costumes. Yeah, oh yeah. Which can we just jump in? <laughs> yes. I watched um, Secretary of State, yes. well, former Secretary of State, Sean Spicer. Uh -huh. I know he's catching a lot of grief today. Uh -huh. But I have to give him some props because yes. he made fun of himself yes. and danced to the Spice Girls. He did a great job with that shirt, that bright color. The, you know, oh, I mean, it you was know, like Miami in the house. I loved anybody it. Anybody that gets out there, if you get out there, it takes a lot of courage to get on that floor in front of everybody in the world and dance. So that was pretty impressive for everyone. Who are we looking for this year? Who do you think wow. is going to win? This I think season? James Vanderbeek did very well. He had a 21 out of 30. Dawson's Creek. Yeah, yeah, he's a front runner for the show. He did a phenomenal job, and The Bachelorette had a 20 out of 30 last night. So she kind of did a pretty amazing job. Too. Those are two of the highest, so they did a great job. Do you have to have any kind of former dance experience, you think, to be a you know, a good one in this, That's not just question. okay. Not really, but if you have some athletic background, it helps. If you notice, a lot of times the NFL, the football people do really well because they've had agility training. Well, what so about the, Lamar Odom, who's wow. like nine feet tall, oh, not yeah. really, but does that hurt? No, not at all. Last year in season 27, we were actually on the show, we got to, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was there, and the guy was so tall, of course, I'm not that tall, so, so looking up was like, oh my gosh, how tall is he? But the tall guys, they can do really well. If they're strong, and they're agile, and they work with their partner, they can do great. Nothing better than a guy that can dance uh, guys <laughs> out there. <laughs> um, That's right. You know, I grew up a ballet dancer, and yes. we would have athletes come in mm -hmm. all the time. Yes. And it's amazing how easily they picked up the steps, and they oh, were yeah. graceful and, and could Isn't do that it. the most fun? Because if you're an athlete, you're an athlete across the board, whether it be ballet, soccer, you know, whatever you right. do, you know, football. You're an athlete. You've learned how to move your body, and that's what's important. And in dancing, you're moving your body to music. So well, that's the main difference. We liked those days. Um, <laughs> Hunter, a lot of people, when they see the show, yes. want to learn how to dance. Yes. And you can help people out. We sure can. If you're watching this now, call 278-7711. We're going to give you some free lessons to get started because everybody gets nervous and walking in the door is the hard part. So once you come in, we make it easy. We've been in Lexington almost 20 years, so we make it really easy to learn to dance. And they really do. There's the information right there. Say that promo again. Yep. Call now, 278-7711. You're going to get two free lessons to learn to dance. So if you've been putting it off or nervous, go for it. Give us a call. We'll make it easy. It's gala season. You need to learn how to dance. Oh yeah. You're going to be out there. That's exactly. right. Exactly. At least go, go make it count. That's right. We hope that you'll be back to talk I more hope so about too. this season. Every week it's going to get more exciting. It is. Thank you so much for being here, Thank Hunter. You very much. Always a pleasure. Definitely check it out. Call that number, get those lessons, yes. shine on the dance floor. All right, speaking of shining, we're going to talk to you about how to crochet. It's a little <laughs> different than dancing, but still a really cool skill. But first, we have Chef Allison Davis. We'll be right back.